Hey guys, C Drama Invasion here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about a interesting controversy that's been popping up regarding the difference in treatment between Chris Wu's scandal versus Zhang Shuang scandal. Of course, there are differences in the crimes and allegations that they're accused of doing, but there's quite a lot of suspicious points and factors that point out that regarding rules, regulations, and the reaction to it, there has been different responses to both of these people. If this is your first video of both of these scandals, make sure to go back in my Chinese scandals playlist and you'll see if you scroll backwards that I talk about Zhang Shuang right at the beginning, I'll explain everything. I made two videos on her regarding her first surrogacy and child abandonment scandal that popped up at the beginning of the year and then later on it was revealed there was a tax evasion thing that was involved so after watching those ones you'll have a better understanding going into this one of the aftermath and just the discussion in general as for chris Wu, i made three parts to his videos it's also in that playlist as well this would be more of the aftermath and there are some brand stuff that i'll talk about but anyways, I'll be going back and forth between the differences and what people are saying online. One of the primary differences between the two scandals and the treatments of both celebrities, despite that both of their trials and investigations are still ongoing, there hasn't been a full truth revealed yet. For Zhang Shuang's case, she did admit to the child stuff. So the surrogacy and of course you can't deny the horrible thing she said about wanting to abandon her children but they're still trying to investigate to see the full picture as well as the tax evasion accusations and the money stuff despite all this fans were quick to point out that cctv which is a part of the chinese government basically went on a ban right away as for chris Wu, they just kind of waited it out and i know they did put up a little statement saying that they disagree with immoral actions and things like that, but they haven't really went out of their way to make it official that they banned him from all entertainment purposes, dramas, television, and variety shows, as they did to Zhang Shuang. It was clear that they didn't want her anywhere in the industry, and she is officially on the Chinese entertainment blacklist which restricts her from doing anything in the entertainment circle anything for money or promoting any of her works projects and variety shows appearances despite that majority of the internet and netizens definitely not on zhang shuang's side at any case they are pointing out that it's such a clear difference they don't know if there's gender or if it's money and wealth or status or some type of connections that we as people of the public don't have knowledge of behind the scenes but it's quite obvious if you're just looking in and comparing these two situations that there is a huge difference and they have been quite harsh to Zhang Shuang compared to Chris Wu's case for instance if you look at the brand deals Louis Vuitton China branch in particular at the beginning they were hesitant and they were pretty much on his side when everyone was dropping him they announced that they were only suspending their relationship with him until results of legal investigations are announced i'll insert a photo of all the brands that dropped him eventually all of them did but it was just quite weird because a fan posted screenshots saying that they were an international fan and they asked for Louis Vuitton's branch outside of China worldwide and they said that they dropped him permanently which was just weird and had a lot of people questioning whether or not he has some type of power hold on the Chinese branch to sway their opinion so much but after the police reports arrived Louis Vuitton finally terminated all their contracts with him there's also been multiple rumors saying that they're going to start suing him at the end of the year because based off of estimated values on the inside, the contract value would estimate around 15 million USD. And that's only an estimate on the lower end regarding one or two brand contracts. So if he's facing a bunch of these, it's surely going to add up and there's going to be a lot of court trials. Despite all this, if you compare it to Zhang Shuang, 
she was basically outed from the beginning prada dropped her i remember a lot of brands dropped her but they also sued her so jade lovers one of the most anticipated dramas that company or production team was in a legal trial with her i'm not sure if there's a hearing or if they already settled it financially in court but it was confirmed a couple months back that they were suing her for the financial loss and potential gains if the drama succeeded and it was up there to be one of the most anticipated dramas for a very long time so i'm pretty sure that the amount that they sued her for was quite a big sum it is weird to me that despite both of them going to similar situations where the truth didn't really come out one person is banned from the entire industry while the other person is getting a little bit more leeway and has a bit more pull in the industry a lot of people are saying that this might just be patriarchy and a good example of it where there's just clear gender differences and the treatment of Zhang Shuang as a woman to Chris Wu as a man in the industry is the reason why this is happening while other people think that there's something else going on behind the scenes like some connections to the government but I won't get too deep into it just in case I get in trouble but I'm excited to see your discussions and thoughts or theories in the comments below. Now let's talk about some things regarding her apology. I did speak about it in a lot of detail in episode 50 of my C-Drama news and updates. So search for that playlist and look for that video. But in Zheng Shuang's recent apology, she basically addressed many things about her ex and money tax evasion claims and says that she's willing to work with authorities however the main two reactions on it is that one she's either manipulating fans since she had all the time in the world to come up with this apology like months ago but she decides to drop it now when the chris Wu stuff is going on and a lot of people is talking about how there is a difference in their treatment and inequality so is she using this opportunity to speak up just so she can gain some sympathetic people on her side or is she genuine about it i honestly think that she shouldn't have done this it was a bad move on her or her pr side it just seems like it was very planned and calculative this is quite disappointing and people who were her fans before actually switch sides even though they do agree that there is a lot of inequality in how these two people are treated they're just super disappointed that she would use the one chance that she gets to try to sway the public and restore her image and also fans point out that she never apologized for saying horrible things about her children or wanting to abandon them which is probably a bigger moral issue in a lot of people's eyes than the tax evasion stuff but my thoughts are is that she should have just held on for a couple months for all this drama to settle down a bit before she makes her first ever public apology the chinese drama entertainment world this year has been wild and i'll still be continuing to update on weekly drama videos as well as any news that comes out on both of these scandals so make sure to subscribe turn on notification bells to all and check out my ko-fi page for extra support and i'll see you guys next time bye